Hey, what's up guys? Welcome back. You're watching for today. Few days back, we created the Nothing OS official 1.5.3 stable hotfix Android 13 update for the Nothing Phone 1. We did the complete overview of that update. You can check that update review from the link given under the video description. Later, I used so many custom ROMs and I created in-depth reviews for that ROMs. If you are interested in the custom ROM, please check our playlist for the Nothing Phone 1. But yesterday we got the new stable update of Nothing OS 1.5.4. It has long change log and this update size is of 119 MB in the size. So I started to download the update. Today we will flash this update and we will review this update about phone's details. Full performance and stability test in comparison with the old 1.5.3. This time I added the new test called as the UiBench Jitter test. Finally I reviewed all the change log with my final verdict about this update. So watch the video till the end. Now without further ado, let's get started. So I flashed the update and phone started to boot into the nothing was. Now first jump to the about phone to check the details of this new build. And we will see what changes has been done here. So software info showing we are upgraded to the latest 1.5.4. Build number of this update is Space for T1.5 build date on the 20th of April 2023. If you check the Android version, this is the same Android 13 based version with the same material clocked Easter egg. So Android security patch is updated to the 5th April 2023. Last hotfix update was on the February security patches. As new May security patches has already been released, I think nothing developers should consider the May security patches for this build. Kernel version is 5.4.210. Kernel version is also updated here. Last hotfix update was on the kernel version 5.4.197. So we got all the latest update sources with this new update. Now first we'll do the performance testing and we'll compare its results with the last nothing was 1.5.3 stable build. This update is buttery smooth and visibly it's same like old update. All applications are running on the Adapt to 120 Hz by default. Only camera application and YouTube video playback shifts down the refresh rate to the 90 or 60 Hz even if we enable the force 120 Hz while developer setting. Still performance of this update is top notch. Let's run the Geekbench test. First, I got the score of 717 and 2282 for the single and multi core respectively. For the old 1.5.3, it's were 890 and 2786. Old build has the amazing results, but for this new build, it's got drastically reduced. But remember, numerical values of the Geekbench can't be comparable with the real life performance. Though these values are lower for the current update, I felt its performance same like the last 1.5.3. Next I did the GPU performance test and for the OpenGL I got the score of 1805 and for Hurkan graphics I got the score of 2410. If you check the old 1.5.3 results they were 1818 and 2348. So results of both the old and the new build has the close touch, no major difference has been found for the GPU performance. Next I did the new test called as the UI Bench Jitter test. Less the value of this test, more the fluid scrolling and swapping performance. I have given the link of UI Bench application under the video description. You can use that to test your own device jitter value. When I started the jitter test, I got the constant results between the 1 to 1.5 milliseconds during whole the test. Meanwhile, I used some applications to test any fluctuations in the jitter values. But it remained the same jitter values below 0.5 milliseconds considered as the best values. But values between 1 to 2 milliseconds is also good but not the best. But in real life this update has smooth scrolling and swapping without any lag. Now let's check out the CPU stability under the heavy task. I ran the CPU throttle application at 20 threads for the 5 minutes. Until one and a half minute, I didn't found any performance drop but suddenly red and yellow lines graph were started until the end of the test. After stopping the test, I got the score of 75%. For last build, this score was 78%. As seen that all the Android 13 based custom ROMs and the stock nothing OS has such type of score, 
which is very bad score as compared to the nothing OS Android 11 versions. Only ancient OS Android 13 based custom ROM given me the better CPU throttling of 93%. You can check its video from the link given under the video description. Now it's time to discuss whole change log thoroughly. First is new feedback option available under the settings and under the system option. By using this new and useful feature, now you can report any kind of bug to the nothing. They can check that issues and can improve the user experience of the nothing OS. Under this setting, we have to first fill up our name, then add your personal email address. Who gets two options to check mark for feedback. First one is report bug and second is to make suggestions. If you want to report the bug, then select the feedback category. Here you will get all the important categories like power consumption issue, communication and network, performance and software issues, etc. Choose correct category related to your issues. Next select the probabilities of the issues means occurrence of this issue sometimes or it's present all the time during the use. In the description box write down the complete details of your issue. Next select the recovery means how you can solve the issues by rebooting the phone or using the recovery menu like formatting data, rebooting the application or unable to recover it. Next you get the option to add the screenshot of the issues. Or you can also add the complete log of the issue. For that, tap on the capture log, accept the agreement. Under the log tool, again select the appropriate option related to your issue. Now system will ask you to toggle the record screen option. Next tap capture, screen recording will start. During the screen recording, open the buggy application or the setting, capture the issue and once done, tap on the finish and done. Next tap on this send icon available at the top right corner. You will also get the current screen capture details under the notification panel. You can save that for your further record purpose. So this feedback option is really innovative way to improve the software experience for the users. Next nothing has added the new smart 5G setting under the network and internet. If you enable this network will shift to the 5G or 4G as per requirement to save the battery. This is reduced standby power consumption by optimizing the 4G or 5G network switching. Standalone 5G setting may cause more battery drain. Next nothing added the fast access to the connected Bluetooth devices via quick setting panel tile. Where you can check all the connected Bluetooth devices by just swapping on the big rounded tile. To fully access that connected device tab on the round tile and you will get the advanced setting for that connected device. Next nothing has added the new scanner under the camera so we can directly scan the QR codes without opening any special applications like phone pay or google pay etc. Scan the code and app will show us the suggestion based on the QR code and select the appropriate app to finalize the action. In this update nothing has optimized the fingerprint and pattern unlock. They seem more smoother with the new animation as compared to the old build. Instead of these changes, nothing has added the support for the acrylic fonts for the some languages like the Russian, Bulgarian, Siberian, Macedonian, etc. These are all the changes you see. Instead of this, update has done some fixes like they improved the notification display and the notification panel below quick setting. Update has resolved the errors during the face unlock setup. Now it's more accurate without any errors and it is faster. Update has fixed a delay for the incoming notification calls. Now incoming calls notification immediately pops up when you receive the call. So this is all about the new update for the Nothing Phone 1. If you ask me about the bugs, I didn't found any of the bugs but if you have unlocked a bootloader then you may face some bugs like we shown in the old video. Watch that video from the link given under the video description. This update is a solid improvement for the Nothing Phone 1 so I definitely recommend you to update to this version. That's it for today guys. Hope you liked my work. Then please do like and share this video. Subscribe our channel. Press the bell icon for the notifications of our upcoming content. Thanks for watching. See you next time. Take care. Bye bye.